dosing and tamping. This is what we call a manual grinder. As you can see, there is a chamber here. If it's during low time or when you're not busy, you must grind to order because it will guarantee you freshness. If there is ample amount of coffee that's pre-ground sitting in the chamber, coffee will start oxidizing. So this is why it's super important to make sure you grind to order. How we do that is there's a switch on the side, you pull it twice until you hear it grind. Once you've found that enough, what we're going to do, we're going to use this lever and we're going to start pulling it towards you until you fill up the basket. So what we're aiming for is a little bit of a hill. Now, next step is we're going to settle the coffee ground into the bottom of the basket. How you do that is by collapsing it on the platform here. One and two. Next, I, I call, this is so technical. What I call this motion is called a chop, chop, chop and scoop motion. We're going to evenly distribute and we're going to scoop off the remaining back into this chamber here. How you should position the lid is around that 10 degrees of a concave straight in. Once we finish that, we're going to get on to our tamper. A lot of people do ask what is the perfect way to hold a tamper. I often refer it to as like opening the door. Pull out your index and your thumb, wrap around the side of the handle to give you a little bit of leverage and we're going to push in that 10 kilos of pressure straight in, no twisting, no nothing. Now next tap is if you've got a little bit of coffee ground that risen up from the side, we're going to give it another tap. So the coffee ground settles back into the center. Next tap is what we call polish. No pressure this time. Tamper on and give it a 360 spin. What this polish does is compresses any of the loose grind back into the puck to, for a nicer finish. Any loose ground on the ears and the rim, we're going to dust it off. And guys, if you've applied enough pressure, you should be able to turn your grip handle upside down without the coffee coming out. Another key thing you can identify if you've got the correct amount of coffee in there is that line. 